Ever wonder what it's like on a 50 plus city tour as a classical musician? Join me behind the scenes of my 52 city 2023 concert tour. Tours require a lot of preparation beyond making sure your programs are ready to go. One of the first things we did was create new publicity photos. My super talented partner took new photos of me with Vienna as a backdrop. Then I recorded the audio for my first CD, which was exciting, but also a bit of a frustrating process. I really don't like recording and much prefer live performances, but it's kind of a necessary evil in today's world. After that, we recorded music videos in the beautiful Aroa Casal of Palais Lobkowitz in Vienna. I really take my inspiration from historic performance spaces, so this was a super fun project. And before flying out of Vienna, we made sure to visit the absolutely breathtaking space where, in honor of Haydn, his creation was performed. What an inspirational space. With the photos, videos, and the programs ready, it was finally time to go on tour. My Forte Piano flew on a cargo plane and we met it at New York's JFK. There are no pictures of the four-ish hour frustrating ordeal driving all around JFK to navigate customs and freight, but we did get my Forte Piano and set off on the drive to San Diego. It was a three-day drive, but we saw many interesting sights along the way, including the sobering Flight 93 Memorial, the St. Louis Arch, driving by at 5 a.m., a sunrise in Texas, a desert sunset in New Mexico, snow in Arizona's mountains, and saguaro cacti in Arizona's desert, and my first In-N-Out burger in far too long. While very tiring, driving allows one to experience so much more of the U.S. than on an airplane, you'll see more in my other tour videos. My first concerts were at universities in Southern California, and I also did some teaching and master classes while there. But hours before my first concert, I received news that no one is prepared for. My mother called and gave me the heartbreaking news that my medically fragile 15-year-old sister was being prepped for in-home hospice care. I was beyond distraught, but I had a concert to play. What else could I reasonably do? So I held it together for the concert and mentally dedicated the Mozart K330 Sonata to my sister. After my bows, I went backstage and completely broke down. When students ask me how prepared they have to be to go on tour, now I say that you have to be so hyper prepared that you can play the music under any circumstances. Life will inevitably throw you for a loop and sometimes one has to play under severe stress and emotional distress. Have you ever had to perform during a difficult time in your life? If you're willing to share, then please post in the comments and tell us how you got through it. Life has many ups and downs and I wish you all the best during life's challenges. Be sure to stay tuned for new updates.